cricket is one thing, but then also it's female cricket. So I don't know, like maybe I prefer female wrestling rather than cricket. I don't know. I'm just. Welcome back to another trailer reaction. Now we have an interesting trailer for you today, but before I tell you about the trailer, let me introduce the crew. Let me first introduce Maria. How are you? I'm doing all right. How are you, DMP? I'm fantastic. Great. Just hot. And next is Sean. How are you doing? Hey, what's going on, man? Good. I'm happy I've seen you guys today. I um, haven't seen you guys in a couple of weeks, so yeah, excited. And last but not least, it is RV who will also present what we will be looking at. What's going on, P? You all right? Yeah. Um, yeah, I was just uh, watching during my uh, lunch earlier today, watching my team in the Thailand, was it Bangkok Century Cup, Man United yes. beat Liverpool. Yes. So I was happy about it. Yes. It's, it, and it happened on Amazon Prime Day. Somebody ordered something special. <laughs> yeah. I hope we make some signings. That's what I, yeah. hope. I hope Man United can buy something for Prime Day. So today, P, we are looking at Shabash Mitu. So it's a trailer featuring uh, Topsy Panu. I know we did actually review the teaser for this previously, maybe a few months ago, two to three months back. But this is the um, this is the official trailer, and apparently it came out. Uh, in the cinemas, or it's coming out, sorry, in a couple of days. Uh, so, yeah, let's let's take a look. Well, before we take a look, it's interesting because cricket season, England has just played the last test with India, and we won! Yay! And on top of that, we had the IPL, that was fantastic. And what made the news the other day, BBC and basically everywhere all over the world was about those guys who conned these Russians, that they were watching the IPL. Abi, give the I heard about this story. It was on the BBC and yeah, it was hilarious just reading it. Apparently there were these Russian guys, probably some gangsters, and they were they were betting, I think illegally, on a game. And it turns out they'd been conned by a group of Indian guys in a farm somewhere. So this patch of field in a big open farm was being filmed and um, they had a whole team of just non-professional players, just these dudes playing cricket, they hired an actor to be an umpire. They, they played music from speakers in the background to, to you know, replicate the, the atmosphere in the ground. And they played, this, they played the sounds that come out usually in the cricket matches as well. All kitted out. They didn't say, oh, wow. say much expense. <laughs> but these Russian That's gangsters, they, they, they wasted money gambling on it. And Over four grand. They, yeah, they just all, all the Indians involved in the scam just pocketed the money before being caught. <laughs> wow, that is oh. funny. I think they were communicating with the umpire to signal certain things, and <laughs> so they could lure them into betting more and more. I I read that story maybe four times. I loved it. <laughs> that was genius. That was genius. I've heard of the Nigerian scam, but the Indian <laughs> cricket scam is. Well done. What, what, what was the Netflix film? Was it Fire, Fire, Fire Field? Was it Fire Field? What? They should do one for this, basically. A Netflix yeah. documentary on this Russian scale. Yeah, I would love to. I would definitely see it. It's oh. like, oh. <laughs> yes. But anyway, um, I'm sure this one isn't a scam. Now let's check out the trailer. Are you ready? यही तुम्हारा घर यही सब कुछ है मैदान देख रहे ये भी जिंदगी की तरह है यहाँ सारे तर्ज छोटे हैं 
बस खेलना बड़ा है कमोन कमोन झोना कमोन वी हैव अ न्यू कैप्टन ये सब लड़कों के है सर हमारी बहुत बेसिक नीड्स है मून मैचेस ट्रैवल फैसिलिटीज हमारे अपने नाम के कपड़े सर हमारे भी तो कोई पहचान है पांच वुमेन क्रिकेटर्स के नाम बताओ सॉरी सर किसी एक को तो पहचान ले यार हो गई पहचान ऐसा खेल के दिखाएंगे कि हमारी पहचान कोई कभी भूल ना पाए Who is your favorite male cricketer? Wow, um, that sexist question at the end always epitomizes um, everything that happens when it comes to female sports. Funny enough, I do watch a lot of female cricket. My favorite is Deandra Dottin, West Indian. She's my favorite, but I only watch it between the big nations. I know two of you do not watch cricket at all. You would never turn on cricket, and if cricket was on in one room, I know you guys would go into the other room. But I want to hear what your viewpoint is on it, Maria. Um, I will say it looked a lot better than the last trailer we saw for it. The last trailer was a bit boring, and I don't know. I don't think it was that long, but it felt really long. But this one gave us a lot more context. We had a bit of comedy in there at the beginning with the tea joke, and you know we had sort of that epic sports montage that's a bit motivational, where we got to see her go from you know being nervous to you know kicking ass, which was cool as well. Um, the visuals were decent. The acting seems decent as well. Um, this is honestly. the worst thing i could say but yeah bend it like beckham vibes <laughs> yes just because it's a a woman sports film but um yeah i think it looks interesting it looks promising would you start watching cricket now um i don't really watch sports oh <laughs> as you know i'm not a massive um, cricket fan anyway but um this one looks quite interesting um it looks like you know she's got a really good story i suppose behind why she wanted to get into cricket her passion her love for the sport i suppose um the only problem i would have here is that whilst the story seems good and i mean it even looks like it was acted really well and shot well as well but i don't know if i'd connect enough because it is um cricket i don't mind like uh, i don't know like cricket is one thing but then also it's female cricket so I don't know like maybe I prefer female wrestling rather than cricket I don't know I'm just trying to think what I'd prefer to watch hmm oh, or you, you female volleyball that would be oh. another good one to watch but yeah I don't know. we'll see okay RV <clears throat> um yeah I mean I I have to say I don't really watch a lot of um women's cricket Um currently there's the women's euros going on for football. I have been tuning into that a little bit, but uh, women's sport in general, the only thing I really watch consistently and for a long time is tennis. Uh, I watched that I've watched that pretty much my whole life. Um and it is good to see some uh, female sports getting more momentum, getting more coverage, getting more funding and popularity. um and this is the story of mithali raj who was probably one of india's most famous female cricketers um as mari was saying the uh, 
um, teaser that we saw a, f- a few months ago, it didn't show this film off in a good light. This biopic looked quite poor based on that. But this trailer does add a lot more. It seems to show the film in a lot more of a theatrical light, in a lot more of um, um, a sort of a descriptive way of, of, of telling her story and telling the story of her team. Um, whereas I think the, the, the teaser that we saw previously was just snapshots of little you know snippets, basically. We couldn't really get the gist of what was going on. But um, I would be interested in watching it, maybe not in the cinema, um, it doesn't look, I have to say, it doesn't look great, but it looks, it looks better than what we thought it did. So it does look like it would be a good watch and I would definitely watch it, but maybe not in the cinema. If, to give my honest opinion, um, basically this will never change the perspective of what people think of female cricket. It's one of those films that it will come out. Some people who are interested in the person herself would go and watch it, but I don't think it will bring anything new. It won't bring in new audiences. Most people just wait for it to come on TV. I would, it's something that would interest me, but because cricket appeals to me and I do watch female cricket, but one thing I've noticed in female cricket, there's a huge gulf even between the sides. Like even in one team, there's about a core of maybe 15 to 20 really good female cricketers and even people in their own team are not that good and even when I think there was the World Cup the other day a lot of people did not even turn up to watch it I most people couldn't even tell you who won I watched a couple of games and I just looked in the crowds and the crowds there wasn't any crowd there was even somebody sweeping you know when things are um, that slow is you see that random guy with a broom sweeping while a match is going on so oh oh interesting but it'll be something that we will see should we do a review on it um i'd love the subscribers to tell will you be going to the cinema to watch it has this made an impact on your life do you have any comments do you disagree with us do you think female cricketers should get more recognition do you think it's wrong which is going on will you um do you think maria should like this movie and go and watch it and give her her own personal review I'm um, sure and a little bit wrong to say he only likes wrestling with Jello. And um, so who knows? <laughs> Do not forget to like, subscribe and share. Please check us out on Patreon. And this is the Chatterbox Crew. Peace.